<laughs> Germany's gonna take a walk to Poland. <laughs> Dude, it is true. German economy enters recession. Guys, wait. You're telling me <laughs> that May 25th, 2023, Gollum releases, and then hours later, Germany enters recession, and Daedalic is a German developer. Dude, you won't, you won't fucking put that at the that beginning me. of the video, just like, <laughs> and then, and that may explain why, uh, as of last night, the German government has officially declared recession after the release of Lord of the Rings Gollum, uh, an all new game for PC and console running the price of 50 to $60, <laughs> fell remarkably short of expectations, <laughs> and has amassed mostly negative Steam reviews in its first 24 hours. I'm just saying that Germany's involvement in World War One and Two came about a decade after a massive economic recession, so we should really be on the lookout here <laughs> going into 2030. <laughs> no, no! Dude, it all adds up. I can't, I cannot believe those two events are on the same day. This is the best. This is way better than playing a game. <laughs> Steam they refund simulator. Yeah, they ran out of good games. They made all the good games That's already. Old ass. I overpaid. It runs like trash and it's so boring. Awful to look at. Not worth your time or money. I can't believe it already has it... microtransactions. That's actually awesome. That's How so do you awesome. Have... How do you have day one microtransactions for a Lord of the Rings single player game? Yeah, it's a fucking single player game. <laughs> and and the DLC is an emotes pack. Oh, uh, wow. No. Dude, is Gollum hitting the gritty, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. The, the emotes pack that you have to pay $3 for extra on the $50 broken game includes his most iconic voice line of saying my precious <laughs> that doesn't come with the game that doesn't, oh, that doesn't come no. with the game called gollum the game called gollum sixty dollars on console fucking his icon his most iconic uh emote is locked <laughs> behind a fucking paywall <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my it really, really god. does look like a like a mid ass game from 2000 like for the GameCube. Yeah. It, Make the video. Dude. Make the video. <laughs> dude, th look at this. Look at the Oh my god, dude. This is an at this is the cover photo. Dude, why does it look like this? Like, dude, I've always wanted to experience the immersive Lord of the Rings universe through the eyes of a fucking meth addict. <laughs> Love his hair, dude. This is the What is that? What is that? Why is he made of Play-Doh? Look at his eyes, bro. I can't wait for the new release content where he can get a jetpack. <laughs> <laughs> also, the lore, the lore of the game is also DLC and you don't have it by default. <laughs> is this a joke? Is this like a joke on the on yeah. players? What do you what do you mean? The, wait, so they have a they have a sixty dollar game that you have to pay extra to get the story? Yes. What is the game then? It's a single player <laughs> game. The lore compendium, which has all the uh, by the way, Lord of the Rings, which has the most some of the most intricate and confusing lore like possible, has a lore compendium that you have to pay five dollars extra to have and it says as you progress this interactive menu it's a menu by the way that you're paying five dollars for uh gives you more and more key information about the game's characters locations and events in addition to the history of middle earth that what? is fucking incredible dude the I'm gonna have to start drinking before i talk about this you're charging people 60 dollars i can't i can't i can't talk about dude, this sober. and it's also it's also just text that's all it is. It's like a picture, what? a static. It's a static image and text that you read. I don't it's even think it's an NFT. It's literally your. <laughs> like, uh, is it an NFT? I'm Dude, paying I sixty dollars for an Dude. image. Dude, his eyes. His eyes look like that in rendered cutscenes. Oh my god. Dude, I can't believe Gollum is no! in the board This Yacht can't Club. be. It can't be. Not, not my apes. <laughs> probably buy the entire lord of the rings like book set for five dollars yeah 100 percent. you could you could also look it up on google for free 
uh, and probably have more imagery to accompany it. It's a menu. It's not even. Oh wow! It's not even content. It's just like mm. reading. My my precious will pay five ninety nine U S dollars. Oh, dude, they have the art book that you also can pay eight dollars extra for. Oh, the cookbook is coming next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The art for the game that looks like shit. Yeah, that's a great upsell. The Sindarin VO DLC adds even more authenticity to the game experience by having the elves speak in Sindarin, the elvish yeah. language created by J.R.R. Tolkien. They have to buy that? <laughs> and he wrote a fake fantasy language and then was like, I should make a book to put this in. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the language which is a very important aspect of the the world is also locked behind dlc oh. i live for it i fucking live for it dude the lord of the rings precious edition for 60 dollars featuring all the dlc the lord of the Ra story. the golem expected edition <laughs> <laughs> Gollum, the finished edition. <laughs> Gollum won the argument. What is this game, dude? The Gollum literally goes around and like argues with people and just talks to people and climbs around and walks around. Like that's all you do. There's no combat. <laughs> no, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! You're, you're telling me I can pay sixty dollars to just go goblin mode? <laughs> marketing campaign you're a silly little guy who just argues with people all the time <laughs> i'm looking at the developer's web page and i'm trying to see if they have developed any notable games and there's not a single one add to wish list dude just like why does he have fucking hair so they're a developer <gasps> is this game relevant to you similar games you've played dark souls 3 <laughs> 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 More like this Hogwarts Legacy Guilty Gear? What? Oh, hell no. What? <laughs> this shit is simultaneously an open world RPG and a fighter? It's similar to Guilty Gear and Dark Souls 3, bro. Similar games City Skylines, Civ 6, <laughs> Call Honey of Pop. Duty, Modern Warfare 2, <laughs> Honey Pop. Sex, sex with Hitler, 3D. Death Stranding. <laughs> I have Death Stranding. <laughs> Grand, Grand Theft Auto V. <laughs> I have the Guardians of the Galaxy <laughs> video game, Resident <laughs> Evil 4. My Dude, precious, the enemies. My, my precious. Do the enemies in the background, like the backdrops, will just render in and out depending on the angle of your camera. <laughs> It's a sixty dollar game, and they can't like keep that shit running God, in the background. Dude, Gollum doesn't have object permanence. <laughs> you actually get to feel his schizophrenia, his paranoid schizophrenia firsthand. Publisher, <laughs> well, sure, like other oh, from Germany. Okay, from oh, Germany. Indeed, oh my God. I oh yeah, believe... the worst city in Germany too, <laughs> Hamburg. I now it's I, making I just, a lot of sense, bro. I can't believe that I could have paid fifty dollars to play this game and frowned about it, or I could pay zero dollars to make fun of it and laugh. <laughs> Gaming W. Yeah, I, mean, I get. <laughs> Does it have a battle pass? Check this out. It's gonna. They're definitely like a really small studio. They totally just like bit off more than they can chew. I don't understand. Like, who let that happen? I want to know what, like, who funded or published this that was like, like, where was the QA that well, said yes? They developed 50 and published the correct price. So there was probably very little, like, Okay, because oh, like, like, where was the QA on 50 bucks? They probably just couldn't afford to make it any cheaper than that because they, like, the license is probably expensive. Their development costs probably balloon. Because it seems like the most ambitious game that they've published. In, at least by my quick glance at their catalog. Playing games like Shadows of Mordor, I definitely would rather play as little goblin guy than like and like skulk around in the dark this this is the reason that i'd be like going on a run or like registering for more college classes or like <laughs> making plans in real life because it's just like i can i can come home 
and and turn on my computer. But it doesn't take a very long surveil of the gaming landscape to realize that I'm just going to like frown and that I don't want to sit here in this chair at my desk. Oh, wonderful. Because it, it has nothing to offer me. Yeah, you see stuff like this, and it really is a testament to like how absolutely <laughs> fucked and how abysmal the landscape is for games at this point i mean this isn't even triple a this is like an indie studio and this yeah but they're charging a triple a price so yeah, they're exactly. automatically going to be held to that standard exactly and they have microtransactions for a single player game which is also you know not cool to i just cut content and make it dlc that you it, dude, like why man it's not even like it's optional like cosmetic content it's like a character's most iconic line and something that should have been in the game by default dude like you're telling me i gotta pay it for the for the my precious battle pass 